Better or worse? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, hot peppers. Hot peppers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot pepper. Ah. Okay. Uh, I I I I knew they made a market share argument. I knew I wasn't smoking some. It's like um, it's like I just got it. I got the wrong OS. They didn't do it with OS ten. They did it with iOS. Really? Yes. The first thing they started off with at, with uh, iOS five was statistics, and they basically used skewed statistics. They based it on tablets only, and they said and they said. This is what they claimed. iOS has 44% market share, Android has 28, and other, excuse me, and RIM is 19, and then the rest is other. It's like they're I like. Even, I don't even see that. Yeah. See, everything is iOS. It's all iOS. We have almost half the market. Everybody's using iOS. I, I, I can't believe they did that. You know, it's like. This isn't gonna stay this way for another year. <laughs> it's like it's, it's just like, like what are they gonna say next year? Oh, we have a. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm surprised to see them making the market share argument again. You know, it's like. Uh, I, I really hate the pause. I did. My son's back. Hold on just a second. Everybody freeze. coming out, which means I was listening to the actual keynote address. There is, you know, God, they pinched three separate people. <laughs> it's like, they, threw, they threw one guy doing video out, they threw another guy doing audio out, they threw another person. Like, you mean those, those live streams? I was watching some of them too. Hmm? Yeah, it's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the running gag was. How I don't long? think they got taken down. I don't think they got exported out because one guy tried to get back up. I think it was just a the Wi-Fi, you know, the clog. Okay. <laughs> like, or maybe, like, maybe they were going to get caught, so they stopped maybe. until the people maybe. went away. <laughs> the guy that I was watching, he went down, but then got back up again. And then went down and got back up again, which that's what I think thought. Maybe he wouldn't get caught. Well, no, maybe it was, it's like, I'm sure, I, I'm sure there were dozens of these. I mean, I found one until it went away, and then I went looking for another one. And then it's like... <laughs> I wonder if they had bus years out over there, you know, just kind of like probing, you know, seeing if they're filming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, what, uh, here's what I'm betting. Is, is, is anybody betting that at whatever, like, whatever room they make to replace the press room at, at the new complex, which we'll talk about later, like, they're going to build mesh into the walls, so it's just like the black room of... Um, it's like no signal leaves here. We didn't approve. I, I can see them doing that. I mean, we have that technology now, you know. Like you walk in the room, your cell phones, your hot, everything dies. There's Apple's official antenna for their demos, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I don't think they'll do that for a I always wonder. It's like um, the guy on Twitter Network. What's his name again? The twin guy. Oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, 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 if you, okay, if you want to, I, I, I try not to bring his name up over here because he's somebody who has more than paid his dues, 
and I don't want to like drag him into this, but you're thinking of Leo Laporte. You know, I, I don't want to like pretend like he agrees with us or we agree with them or anything. Cause I mean, like, I, I don't know what the hell he'd think of what we're doing over here, and I doubt he'd really care. You know, that's. Like, so, it, 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 about how he doesn't, he's not invited to the events anymore because he did that, right? Yes. He streamed the whole event live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my thing of it is, is that Apple does it anyway. We can download and watch it. What, 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 I don't understand. What is the reason? So a mistake is not recorded or something? Yeah. Because I know edited out the Wi Fi problem there before. No, no, no. That, that's the other reason they don't immediately put their thing up now. Because, like, it, it's like, it, basically, when they publish it, everything's edited out. It's that they don't want any of those mistakes public. I, I, why? I have no idea. Because we all know they happened anyways, you know? It's like. <laughs> it's not right to do so. I have honored that. I just want to know. The, the, here's the thing. They don't actually say uh, why they're so paranoid about that. But personally, I don't know what their conniption is about it either. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, and they got, that's, I don't understand why they got mad at him. Because it was just free free press for him. You know, it's... Like, <laughs> You know, if they were really uptight about it, I, I, I would send them a thing and go, okay, you can't rebroadcast that show. You know, it's not publishable. Take it down if you've published it anywhere and forward the URLs over to Apple's site. If I was Apple, that's what I would have done because it was free press, it was covered, you know, as opposed to overreacting like that. You know, I, I, uh, are they cordial again or is, is, he, is he blacklisted totally? I think he's blacklisted totally. At least that's what he said. <laughs> Which is which is I, 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 I just I guess I'd like somebody to comment. Maybe I'm not thinking off the top of my head. It's Apple's right to do whatever they want. It's, a, it's, a, it's Apple's right to do what they want, reason, but I I, I think they really things. miss. I think they really mishandled that. You know what's you know that. Anyways, um, moving on to the well, there's no good way to say. You know, Apple's boasting their statistics, you know, it's like they have their 225 million accounts, and when they said this, I'm sorry, I was just thinking, wow, 225 million credit cards to go after. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's all I could think. I'm like... <laughs> well, that's another thing, I mean, it's, I mean, I'd love to know, like, just as you've obviously realized, has anybody else realized that, you know, that I've, you know being a bit crazy they're jumping up and down on that do they realize that basically that's kind of what they're saying if people are smart enough to realize that and, and, well no and itunes has been hacked once or twice yeah you know Actually, itunes has been hacked again <laughs> you know i mean about the article? I posted it to the article. I posted it on Twitter. I, 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 yeah. It's just, it's one of those, that's just, you know what, since we brought it up, yeah, put it under the 225 so I can put it in the show notes. But yeah, it's, um, but yeah, it, it's just, because I don't have it in front of me right now and I don't want to go dig. Yeah, you know, I'm going to, I'll put it right down. Yeah, it, 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 it's just like, it, I'm not sure that's a thing to be bragging about in, in this day and age. It's one of those that's just... Yeah, and actually there was a support page and everything over it, all these users. You know, again, gra granted, we act like when your credit card number gets stolen, it's this, oh dear God, financial hardship. Really, it's an inconvenience. It's not a hardship. It's it's going through the hassle of canceling a card and waiting the two weeks for the replacement to show up. Yeah. You know, that, that that's what it is. You know, it, it's... And honestly, I if on automated things... I too. Uh, on automated okay. things, I randomly cancel my card anyways, you know, just to, you know, have control over that in case. I don't wait for a breach, you know. Sure. Uh, it's, okay, what do you think of the, we can do anything Android can do notification center? I'm sorry, there's nothing else to call it. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not saying they stole from Android, but they did. But and it makes sense. I'm glad to see that I iOS know. now has I that feature. <laughs> in my video, I said, I think it's nonsense. These patent wars. There's when something is done well. There's only. A, I mean, what else are they going to get for notifications? I guess I could really look. Well, well it, 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 honestly, I was the first to say 
Apple, I know, and that's the that's the it's the hypocrisy argument because <laughs> Apple always would say, Redmond, start your copiers, and now Andre wants to say, Cupertino, start your copiers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Fine. <laughs> Go ahead and do it because I, I'm sure. Well, no. I, I, I don't. I'm not. I don't ever say. Windows stole or this stole. I have videos verifying. I'm always, I've always been in the position of saying, look, when something is practical and it's done well, no, well, and, and let's, all, let's, honestly, let's, let's, put, let's put bygones by bygones and let the consumer win, right? Well, no, and honestly, it's a useful feature. It's one of the primary reasons I like Android. I like that about the Android UI. No matter what modification of it you're using, every Android device does that. That little notifications at the top. Put your finger down, scroll down, and select the notification group you're wanting to mess with, whether it's your email, an event thing, an app giving you a thing. But it's useful. I love it. You know, I'm not surprised they copied it. It made perfect sense to. It's just an efficient way to do it. It's like, but it's one of those that's like, you know, let's not pretend this is a new feature. Let's not pretend it's something magical, you know? It's like... I was disappointed that they didn't do multitasking. Right. I mean, they left it alone. Yeah, they, they just need to work on that. I should say task switching. Mm hmm. Uh, you no, know, you know, like the, the newsstand one, I'm like, okay, it's a newsstand. Move on. You know, I was surprised that they like, okay, and our third new feature in iOS is Twitter. Really? Was that the third one? That was the third one. Notifications was the first one, newsstand was the second one, and the third new feature, Twitter. Now, there's a really good chance Apple buys Twitter. Oh, please no. Please no. What happens, because what happens if Google decides to buy Twitter, or, or third party stuff changes? Apple has had a history of getting burned by trying to integrate third parties, and they almost always acquire to avoid well, okay, d d don't take this the wrong way, but if Apple acquired Twitter, I'm not sure what the life expectancy of Twitter would be, because it'd become a... a I think they'd keep it the same. I don't know. I, well, I think it'd be more like when they bought What's-His-Name. They'd keep it the same, and they'd make it a, you need a you need an Apple device to use it, and then, you know, they'd integrate it, in, they'd integrate it into iTunes and the Apple experience, but it, and they'd, like, merge it with Ping, but... It doesn't it, make sense that they would, but, I mean... Think about it. There's a compelling argument to say that there's a damn good chance that they will. I hope you're dead wrong on that, but you're you're right. It does make sense, <laughs> especially given this that it's like it's like I, although, although th this was the beginning uh, of what what became the theme for the entire iOS five announcement was right. hey third party developers your app is now worthless. <laughs> <laughs> that was the theme of the iOS 5 announcement for the most part. You know, like it basically, okay, yeah. if, if you make a Twitter client, well, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, uh, now, let's, now let's play devil's advocate to that. Because there's an alternative of it being Twitter driven. Was it not Twitter trying to consolidate all the APIs mm -hmm. lately? They are. Making it harder to do things for the applications. And why? Because of server usage and all this other stuff? Yeah. What if this is Twitter driven and saying, you know what, if we can cut out all, because your damned iPhone has all these apps hitting our service, it would make sense for Twitter to say, you know what, let's consolidate. And we'll let Apple do it. This is how you do it well. This will save our servers doing it this way, you know, integrated within whatever. And that, 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 that also would not surprise me for the reasons you're saying, but that gives more credence to what you said earlier of Apple and Twitter might be merging. Well, I'm just saying, I'm trying to play also from the part of, well, it's not, it's not Apple interested in acquiring Twitter, but Apple abiding, like, perhaps Android's next. Well, here's the thing. Um, I'm a little, I, I, honestly, I mean, it might be, you know, we might, that might be a feature of ice cream. I, I, we don't know. But uh, it, it's it's one of those things. It's it's interesting, you know. It, it, and, and and honestly, uh, it, to, going on your devil's advocate thing in that regard, it does make sense because one of the thing changes that recently happened to Twitter, 
uh, when I say recently, it's been months now, but basically you can't, you know, it, you can't use Twitter just via any third-party thing, username and password. That was done for security reasons to keep passwords from going in. Basically, you need one of these signed keys and things. But when you're when they implemented that policy, it created this monumental loophole in that security because the app had to have one of those keys. And because the app is stored locally on your device, those uh -huh. keys were really meant for web-based applications so server A can talk to server B securely without needing the username and password. But when you put it on the local device, you've now given away the security key key, which creates this big chain of custody error. And this is a way to address that. It's just part of the OS. Nobody gets the chain. Nobody gets the key. It's just that is a way to address that. <laughs> yeah, we should ask. We should ask the viewers. Uh, what do they think? Is it more Twitter driven or is it more Apple driven? Yeah, that that because there's arguments both way. <laughs> if, if Apple buys Twitter, we know it was Apple driven. <laughs> please, please don't let that happen. <laughs> Uh, like Twitter. And if Android comes up with their own integration with Twitter, we know it's probably We know it's driven. probably Twitter driven. Although not necessarily. That could just be a oh I'll do it too. You know, there there is this oh that's a good idea, I'll do it too. You know, it's you know, we laugh, but all three of them do this, you know. It's like damn it, that's a good idea. Do we have that idea? We do now. It's like, it's like Okay, uh, you know, again, more market share statistics with the Safari thing. You know, they're saying 54% of web browsing takes place on Safari. <laughs> so what they meant is they included, I thought they included uh, WebKit via Android in that statistic too, right? No, they said Safari. I think they included WebKit, but they claimed Safari. They claimed 64% oh, okay. of all mobile browsing is Safari. Well, how come Nielsen has different statistics? I don't know. You're going to have to ask Apple what they were doing well, there. I was going to say, if they've got the, the lower part of the market share in phones, and obviously phones are more prevalent than tablets, I mean, how the hell did they come up with that? I, 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 you're going to have to ask them, because like for the reasons you're saying, Nobody else has a statistic that supports this. And usually you can figure out what numbers Apple's fudging or screwing with to get their statistic. In this case, this is right out of left field, and it's because they say so. I'm like, all right, if you say so, but uh, that doesn't make any damn sense at all. You know, it's like... <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like they said the they said on the thing it's sixty four percent iOS, twenty seven percent Android, and they, and somehow that means ninety percent of mobile browsing happens on Safari. No, I don't. I, I I'm like what? <laughs> WebKit, okay. If you don't mess with me. No, but they didn't say WebKit. They said Safari. WebKit, I would believe, because Chrome uses WebKit too. <laughs> you know, it's, but they said Safari. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, um, you know, it's like the, the you know the minor feature, you know, with smart reformatting of pages. Um, what do you think of the yeah? What do you think of the tabbed browsing? I'm wondering how long before that winds up everywhere. Because Firefox is actually, I don't, have you messed with Firefox 4 Mobile? Uh, no. Okay, Firefox 4 Mobile is doing something similar to that. Not identical, but similar. And I liked it. There's issues with Firefox 4 Mobile. One of the reasons I'm looking forward to Firefox 5, but there, there is a, a thing like that because one of the things I loved about Firefox 4 Mobile is it wasn't doing that, you know, out in window everything else. It, it was done by way of a uh, a gesture. It basically, it was a hidden menu that came up as soon as you started messing with stuff. Like it, it, it was using a thing to know. Okay, now the tab should be there for you to click on, and I liked it. It's like because it, really, it, you know, the it, when tab browsing isn't actual tabs, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of tabbed browsing. <laughs> you know, it's 
So I, I am glad to see them implementing that thing. I, um, let's see, what else did they Reminders? Do? I don't. I mean, yeah. seriously, I, I, people may use that. Yeah, I it's like that's an underwhelmed feature. It really uh, is. But it's nice. I guess the integrator, you know, people use it. The camera, I think it's cool that they use the volume button. Uh, 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 but on that note, though, uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there this app that got yanked yeah. from the marketplace yeah. for providing this feature? <laughs> that, that's their policy. You can't have any app that mimics their core functionality. Okay, but this is obviously a feature users wanted so much so that they now do it. So really, what was the justification for pulling the app again, you know? It's like... <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you really have to... I mean, if that, if that's just... I mean, talk about blatantly um, one, one rule for them, one rule for everybody else. I mean, that, that that's just really seems... Well, it's just irritating because of the fact that they basically caused a whole lot of kerfuffle and really all it was, obviously, was because they saw an opening and they realised that they wanted to do it themselves. So it was for them to get an unfair advantage, which, you know, to me just seems really ridiculous. No, no, I... I, 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 I People laugh at me when I say this, but honestly, I think this is the philosophy of the App Store. If you make a really successful app that provides a feature or functionality that people want, expect the next version of iOS to steal it from you. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Well, no, and, and in that regard, you know, why it's despicable is all hell. It's actually kind of smart of Apple to do that because what they're doing is they're letting people do beta testing on their own money for Apple. You know, that's genius from a business standpoint, but despicable is all hell. You know? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, God. Um, the, mail for iOS. Uh, the first thing, rich text format. This is a feature? <laughs> what? I don't know that format been around for. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I just want to see a lot of people like, okay, well, show us something that Android doesn't already do. Yeah, yeah, no, that was the thing. You know, it's like this was the anything Android can do, we can do now. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Kind of, you know, like you can now flag them, you, you know. Uh, this was the one I was like, what the hell? You can actually search your mail now. <laughs> really? You can search it now? I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I have no comments. I cannot send the indefensible. <laughs> well, this is something you'll like. Uh, you, 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 you probably like the thumb keyboard. Yeah, well, uh, that came from Windows 8, too. I know. <laughs> there wasn't just anything Android can do. It was, oh, by the way, we do what Phone 7, oh, I'm sorry, Windows 8 can do, too. <laughs> like, it, it, it's a useful feature. I, I, can on, I honestly see that as useful. I prefer the speak to it function, but... If you don't have the speak to and you're actually using that thing, yeah, thumb typing makes more sense than. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that I want to see again is that all the voice command stuff, and then they'll, and then they'll, that'll be another Android feature. Yeah, I, it's damn useful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey. No, like, and like I said, you know, as we go more and more to these touch and yada yada, really the keyboard doesn't make sense anymore. You know, you need voice commands and, and widgets and stuff, but like you're saying, you can't... Doing power computing like that is... Uh, <laughs> last right. thing I want to do is be speaking code to my computer. Header tag. Open HTML. Yeah. <laughs> Meta tag. Description. <laughs> <It's> like, God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, God. <laughs> You'll sound like you're having a, a conniption or something. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, okay. And then, of course, continuing the ever-increasing, it's a post-freeze PC error. Oh, they God. started this, we're PC-free. Hey, on, on the air, finally. That's all I'm going to say. Again, I cannot defend the indefensible, <laughs> but I can tell... All of the people that disagree with me. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like it's, I, 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 I'm with you. Over the air updates and activation from the device itself. About damn 
effing time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> and of course, the next feature was a calendar. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this one is useful, and this goes into line to something you've been saying, which is this thing is trying to compete with Nintendo. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't know anything about the gaming that I'm not into it, but apparently the iPhone or iOS is like beginning to be king of this. No, and, and honestly, given the features they're selling here, you know, basically, it will tell your friends when you're online. It will suggest and new friends... It's all developing into a game. No, yeah, no, no, it's like, it will suggest so new friends to you. If you're too much of a loser to find your own friends, don't worry, we will suggest them. <laughs> we will recommend friends. We will recommend games. It's like, basically, I'm looking at this thing. It's like a micro version of Xbox Live. It's like, you're going to, all the 10-year-olds are going to be running around playing MMORPGs with people that they've never met. <laughs> it's my friend! iPhone suggested my friend! Hello, friend. It's going to be like that South Park episode where, like, the, ki the loser kid, he has a friend on Facebook. It's a friend! A friend! Don't get me on Facebook. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> Well, no, it's like for those of you who don't, for for those of you who, I still get people who send friend requests here. I, for those of you who don't know, um, it, it, it's like, it's not that I'm ignoring you, I don't hate, it's like, if y'all want to comment and you want to send PMs, there's a reason I have not put privacy block on the PMs. Anybody can PM me on YouTube, and it's going to stay that way no matter how much spam I get, and I am getting a crap load of spam. It may take me a little bit to get through them, but I'll go through them. But to me, a friend is somebody I've met I actually know, I communicate with on a regular basis, and if that's the case, I don't need to go, oh, here's the checkbox to declare you a friend. I know you're a friend because I see you and talk with you all the time, yeah, whether it's online or on the phone or we actually meet face to face. It's one of those, you know who your friends are. You don't need a computer to say, friend, friend, friend. It's like, it's like I'm, I'm sorry, I'm old fashioned in that regard. You know, it's like, ah. I know I sound like an old. That's what I like, but messages is not iMessages. You can still do SMS. That's what messages is. Okay. iMessages is BBM, Private Blackberry Messaging Network. Ah! Okay. So, but, okay, but one thing I did find in here that seemed to fall a little short. Which is, you know, when they said, like earlier, this ghost has said, we're cutting the key, we're in a post-PC thing. You know, we've basically, when they started talking about the wireless thing, they held up this logo, which was, we've cut the cord, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we get down to here. Oh, by the way, iOS still doesn't talk to OS X, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like, wait That's a minute. Like, <laughs> asking me, did it wow me? No, it's just like it was ketchup. And I was looking for some features that wanted to interconnect those. Now, of course, iCloud could be considered communication, right? But that's not the communication that I was looking for. Yeah, I, 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 you know, you know, we say that now, but you know, then they have the AirPlay thing. So there may be. maybe, some point down the road, maybe they'll get it. You know, it's, you know. It's, but yeah, iMessages is big here. Finally, Apple will have its own secure network. I think it's good, great for them. Well, no, and see, this is one of the reasons I am thinking BlackBerry needs to license out. You know, they need to they basically, they, 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 no, they, they but they need, they, need, they need to put one hell of a push on it, you know, to get everybody using it. Because if they wait around too long, uh, iOS, Android, everybody's going to create their own. Whereas if BlackBerry just pushes theirs out, they can become the standard for that. They can become the platform, the standard by which that technology is judged, which would be a good thing. They're in a position to do it, but they need to do it now. You know, push. <laughs> well, Apple's already got the infrastructure up. I mean, you know, we'll see how well all this iCloud stuff works. You know, I don't know. Apple's still very young into it. Yeah, and I'm not yeah. sure, honestly. It, they got, it's like, anyways, iOS is shipping in fall. You know, whatever the hell that means. I think I know what that means. I think that means we're going to wait to find out when the Windows 8 public beta is coming out, and then we're going to try and compete in Steel Thunder. <laughs> I think that's what that means. No, 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 I think, I think they're waiting for the 
planning on iCloud's uh, uh, finishing them. They're not. They're not ready. Uh, and that's my opinion. You think their servers? They don't have their yeah, servers fully set up yet. All the geeks worked out. They have a lot to migrate. They got to work with mobile me like me. I'm totally screwed. I renewed in April. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering about that. All these people who paid totally their screwed. mobile me are they getting I'm a refund? I risk all my published websites out there and everything. It's just sick, sick and twisted. And we're right back to iTools for free. And I guarantee you, I'll make the prediction now. It ain't gonna be free forever. <laughs> I get it as long as iTools, or iTools is free. iTools was free from 2001. 2003, so it was two years? Two years. Well, and, and honestly, given the way they were announcing this for iCloud and all of this stuff, um, I, I, I think they're making it clear that, uh, you know, this is giving more and more credence to the idea of discontinuing the Mac Pro and scaling back the Mac line and basically... Let's not, let's not say those words, okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear I don't it. Hear but... said. <laughs> okay, for those of you who were listening, you know, as Steve Jobs started off the iCloud thing by saying the PC uh, is no longer the cornerstone of your media. You know, it basically you don't need the PC. That's you fine. Just, oh just... yeah, we demoted the Mac. Yes, <laughs> they've demoted the Mac. We're post PC era. All you had to say was, all you had to say was, the cloud is your central location for your data, and it treats every every device that connects to it equally. No, so no, no, back, but they made a right, point of right, saying they're, they're not demoting a damn thing. <laughs> what, 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 what was, I was like, what, the, what are you talking about? I shook my hand on that. I was like, please, we don't need to go into motions and, and all this other nonsense. The desktop is not dead yet, for crying out loud. Thank God. You know, one day, <laughs> I can see us and because most well, no, but you know, yeah. it, it, they, they, you know, that's part of the Apple magic marketing. I mean, he's going up. They demote the PC. They're, it's like because they, they have to say, "Oh, sinking things, sinking things is a pain. Nobody can ever sink, sinking, sinking, sinking." We solved it. <laughs> it's like they had to, they had to make it into the oh dear god problem so they can sit up there and say we've solved it. You know, it's like, you know, I, 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 bet I know what this point I was trying to say is that the cloud treats every device equally. Well, say it that way. I demote. Yeah, that, is that, specific, you know, that is specific language demoting. I mean, no, 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 and I think that's, ver I think that's very telling. I do think they have plans to, re to really demote the Mac. Anyways, moving on to, for those of you who were stupid enough to renew your mobile me subscription, <laughs> but then are do you are they gonna like give y'all a refund? I mean, they should. Anybody, anybody who renewed mobile me in the last, I like a partial refund. Anybody who renewed mobile me, you know, they should get a refund or at least a partial refund or a credit or something. For months, for months served up until September when this thing goes live. I, I mean, I'd like a partial. Yeah, I, I could, uh, yeah, it's like let's see what. I'm not gonna sit there and complain. I mean, that's part of part of doing business. I guess shit can happen. But. Yeah, like I, 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 I like the sinking, but the sinking really isn't anything new, you know. Oh no, it's called push and store. See, uh, there was like this buzz thing about oh, it's not sinking, whatever. That uh, that that's called sinking. Yeah, <laughs> oh, see, but, it, but it's not going to merge data, and it's like you know. I was like, look, let's wait and see what happens. I bet, I'm sure there's going to be hiccups and conflicts of a file coming down. And oh, well, I didn't want uh, 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 the, the said, aspect of this I'm looking at uh, also yeah, that looks a little strange. Downloads it to all your devices. Well, what happens if I'm downloading an iPad specific app? I hope it knows not to download to the iPhone. Well, and the other thing is, uh, on Android, what it does, uh, is it... For licensing for developers, don't developers have to charge one version for iPhone? Aren't there apps out there that there's an iPhone version, X amount of dollars, iPad version, X amount of dollars? Yes, there are developers now, doing that. Are now forcing developers to make one version of your app and only charge one price for it? So in other words, if I make a, a, an app for the iPhone and dedicate code to it, you know, for, for using it, let's say it's a game or, or whatever, that I'm using real estate appropriately to the iPhone, but then I have to recode it, spend more of my hours and time to make it
connected to the iPad um, that now I can only charge once. Well, and one of the things I'm hoping that iOS is doing is something Android does. My app more expensive now if it's going to run on both because I have to cover my costs for both an iPhone yep. and an iPad download. Well, like, and that, then they're going to get in trouble with the terms of service, which states, you know, the price thing. You may not be able to raise your price because they may want to, you know, just depending how they interpret that, you know, which then will create another problem. These are my questions. Yeah. Anyways, moving on to the iBooks, uh, which basically just now does what a Kindle book does. So boring, the book stuff. Uh, no, well, I mean, basically, they're just, you know, with this, they're using the thing to do what the Kindles have done. When you when you bought a Kindle book, it was available on any device that you had Kindle access. You know, Android, I, iOS, the Kindle itself, your Kindle app on your desktop. Uh, like, uh, 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 Apple has to do something like that. I mean, iBooks is a tough sell. It's a much smaller catalog. It It's... Unlike the Kindle, it's not largely platform agnostic. I say largely. Kindle sells it as, as completely platform agnostic, but it's not. There's some holes in their platform agnosticity. Um, I, I, you know, they're, they're doing the cloud storage, uh, APIs. Uh, the more I'm looking at this, I think they have plans in future to basically create cloud-based apps. Uh, they already have like a couple of what could be considered cloud-based apps, but the way they're, you know, saying this API stuff, I think they want developers to make cloud-based. Well, no, yeah, they want to like we can store our keys in the cloud, other kinds of data that helps our our our, our uh, application, uh, existing applications, non iOS would be uh, like Instapaper, Dropbox. They they use uh, I think CS3. Uh, uh, okay, I, 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 that's, that's useful. Different. But my concern on that is, uh, is this going to wind up causing the same problem on iOS that happened on a lot of Phone 7 phones, which is they're sitting in the corner using data, racking your bill up. Yeah. Oh, and also your battery. I, I, I did a tip on my, uh, but these are, no, these are Wi-Fi only sinks. I don't think they're going to do it over data. A lot of this is Wi-Fi only. Okay. Um, but, but even being Wi-Fi only and backup and stuff like that, it's going to drain your battery, and I did a tip on my video um, and saying, hey, if that's the case, you may have a habit where you don't charge your phone as often. And, to, and then and my message in my own video was, make it a habit to charge your phone at night, you know, when you go to bed, when you're sleeping, because chances are backups and all these other things occur when the system is idle. And it's yeah. nice to uh, do that while it's charging, and therefore... You don't really you lose any battery life while it is doing these backups. Well, no, it's like, and, and honestly, this is one of the reasons I desperately wish the iOS devices had swappable batteries, because if you're really doing it, it it'd be there are times I'm sure it'd I have be a nice. Battery on my WebOS device, and I've never swapped it. Okay. I mean, I've never had it. But you, not to say I play, there could be a situation. I just never been in one. And, and, and but 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 I'm not. I I want the option to be able to switch my, my battery. I don't want to be stuck. I, I, I love the option. It's fine. So I'm not... Well, no, again, I mean, like, uh, business people especially would make use of that. Like, they just, they didn't have the ability to charge it tonight, and they need it tomorrow morning, you know? It's like, that, that's what a second battery's for, you know, when that happens, you know? That's... Uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? We covered that. We, we covered the to the cloud, you know. Yeah, the photo document thing my wife's not going to like. She expects it to actually push the photos and make, if there's an album, she wants the albums to mimic. And none of this, one, the last 1,000 stays in the cloud and then you're forced to move it. No, button. no, it's after 1,000. Yeah, it's like, and then you've got to click a different section which says the photo stream, which it should just put, if you have albums and you've already given instructions that they need to be identical, then we need to skip the whole photo stream button and just push the photo and then I'm all right. Yeah, I, I know. Well, the other thing I'm thinking about is like you're saying battery life and usage because like, oh, I took a picture. Please wait. Sending pictures away, you know. You have yeah, to, the you background, but that's more juice. Yeah, it's like. Uh, yeah, lots of people vote and it's just the cost of doing business. At the tax. Yeah, a bit. I mean, Philip, you're not getting this until 2012, but there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> iTunes is now in the cloud. 
You know, it's like everybody was kind of suspecting this ever since they bought. God damn it, I can't remember the name. What was that? What was that company Apple bought? Said they were going to keep online, then dismantled them and didn't honor any of the credits. It was a music indexing. I forget. Yeah. Oh god, what was it? Ah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, again, I guarantee that this is built on that technology. You know, it's like, it's the whole li it's the whole iTunes library, but only the stuff you bought. Although, you know, I, here's the thing. If you, if, if it's only the songs that you already bought, is that, as I understand it, like, you had to have bought the song already for, it, for you to be able to use it on this service, right? No, no, no. Like, giving them the 2099 thing that you're having the show notes, what that is is that I ripped all my CDs. I have several, several gigs backed up, you know. Oh, God, I got at least 10 gigs of music here. What yeah. that 2499 does is it doesn't use any bandwidth. What it, what it, what it is is it's, it's a licensing. You're paying, you're paying to get a digital copy of your CD. What it's going to do is that you have thousands of songs that you've ripped. They are, they're local. But that would take forever to back all that crap up into the cloud. So instead, what's going to happen is that this match service, which costs you money, is going to run all of your ripped songs. And what it will do for you is give you another copy of that song. But in this one is a digital iTunes copy. So your ripped CD... Oh, oh okay. You, then that and then explains the why... license of that, that extra that, song. That well. explains why Apple signed licensing agreements because it's not it's, your ripped copy. It's a copy to keep right. you from having it's, to it's, upload it's, your it's, ripped it's, copies. It's, uh, 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 right. Okay. But that, that's a little different. That That's... Okay. Uh, you pay it a year. So I guess people would only do that once. Because all of it would see I, I, the thing that I'm questioning about is is this a one time thing that would people would just get that digital copy of their music? Of well, no. Class? As I understand it, this is a lease, which means right. the moment you stop paying the lease, oh, the it, oh. it goes away. Okay. So oh, you have to you have to keep paying the twenty four ninety nine. Okay. As opposed to if you took the week to upload your collection, it's there indefinitely. It's just right. the bandwidth. You know, it's uh, so. Yeah, has got all my S three's got all my stuff, all two hundred and two gigs of it. Well, it, it, you know, and honestly, this is one of the reason I hate I hate that they're putting caps at homes because one of the things I do occasionally is I will just map my drive that has the music. I'll map that partition to be internet accessible, and then I just access my home computer over the internet. But not my whole home computer, just that folder. So I don't have to load it all onto some server somewhere. I just load the song I want this second and it, you know, because my thing is fast enough to stream that for just right. me. <laughs> you know, it's not fast enough to host it for a thousand people, but it can stream sure. it to me, <laughs> which is really the only person who should be streaming it from my copy. <laughs> Oh well. So now you want to get to the flying saucer, right? Yeah, we might as well. Good way to round out the part. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, have you heard about the flying saucer? <laughs> yeah, I did hear about that, yeah. <laughs> Let's put it this way in context. I'm all for it. I think it's great. I, to me, it's all positive. Uh, thousands upon thousands of Apple employees are in leased buildings and it's, it's just, there's nothing congruent about it, and I think that Apple's going to make that plot of land look way better, uh, and I don't, I think it's fine that they want to be on their own electrical grid. I don't blame them. California does suffer from rolling blackouts. Mm. Uh, the, uh, they're doing their own stuff. It looks great. I think the building's cool. Well, you know, don't, don't take this the wrong way, but I think what Apple's doing with that complex with the power grid is really telling of something that I think is going to honestly be becoming a lot more prevalent in this country. It's really bad in California, but something that's becoming more and more a problem in the United States is our power grid infrastructure is, at least that's in weak. part, it's weak. Because we have, it's, we, we have e telling us that we need to use windmills, but then we shut them down because there's too many birds. 
Yeah, it's like basically uh, turbines uh, in the ocean that shut down because there's such fish getting them. At so peak, really, no, at peak times. Hey, at peak, I'm just gonna tell you, no, 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 I gotta say this. So what I'm resorting to is just tiki torches. <laughs> <laughs> at peak times, our electrical grid is overloaded, and you wind up with these intermittent. Uh, brownouts and other things, which is horrible for computers and all that stuff. Honestly, something I'm seeing happening more and more in the U.S. is those that can afford to are going to build into their office complexes and into their homes yeah, internal right. power generation it's, it's, and rely on the grid for a backup. From Mexico, and why? Because California borrows power from Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and those grids come over to Texas. So mm -hmm. then Texas has to borrow from damn Mexico. It's insane. Well, let's let's get like uh, Europe, like French is what, with France. That's something they damn they do really well over there with their Riva nuclear energy. They 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 got a tremendous amount of plants, and I, I don't see them bitching about rolling blackouts. <laughs> well, that would require us to refine our waste nuclear rods. We'd have to refine our waste nuclear material to do what they well, do. Build heavy water, build heavy water plants for crying out loud. I know. <laughs> Oh, but well, we don't want to do that because that, that's as bad or so that they said. Anyway, it's getting back to the flying saucer or beach ball complex. I'm sorry. When I saw it was a big round thing, it's just the thought that came to mind. Somebody is going to animate the giant beach ball of death over this complex <laughs> on Google Earth. Oh, God. It's a donut. That's all. <laughs> no, but they'll animate the beach ball of death over the donut flying saucer of doom. You know, it's like... <laughs> The two, the, the three most expensive things in this proposed project are the rounded glass, the power plant, because power plants are not cheap, but they are worth the investment. No, it's not the licensing that they have to get from the state, which is determined the most of the cost. All of the, 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 there's that too. Uh, I, but the, that's the big thing. And then the other thing is all that landscaping they're going to do. So, I mean, really, the, it, I, I want to see yeah, the... There's a lot of landscaping they have to plan. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I want to see the crazy. itemized price tag for this complex. <laughs> <laughs> what, maybe, what, uh, I don't even want to make a guess. I want to, I want to wait till we see it. At some point, the plans are going to be filed and somebody will go, this costs this. Million, this. Something like that, 28, 20 million, maybe? Yeah, yeah, potentially more. <laughs> I, but yeah, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's you and I have a discussion behind the things here on this complex. I don't have anything against the building itself. I agree with you. I think it's uh, it's uh, you know it's a cool building. I mean, it's a great building. Like, it's it, like an omen of no, 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 no. It's just I, it, you know, and no matter how strong the company, it, it's. Uh, I, then again, I've been talking. This, here's the no. Not, here's the thing, this, bit. Not too long this, ago, this, bit, this, bit. This, I, I'm a little jaded in that because not too long ago, I had conversations with a group of retired EDS workers, and you know what's happened to EDS, and you know, it's, uh, you know basically the people who had the good common sense to get out why the getting was good. <laughs> so they they kind of have a very specific view on this, and that's their view. And you know, it's not unfounded. There are historical precedents for it. It, it, it like it, we'll we'll see. It, like it, there's reasons for them to do it. You're right. There's reasons for them to sign. Uh, the I I am sure the conspiracy Isn't theorists. Just round. I mean, if they just went ahead and bought that land and make a big deal, and there's going to be more square buildings. Uh, yeah, but they that's have a house, twelve thousand employees. <laughs> uh, I I know, or, or thirteen thousand if they get lucky. Probably the most interesting part I of. I like this. that comment. I actually like that comment. Though. <laughs> He's implying that he hopes for growth in in in, in I, I, I like that statement. Uh, I, this was a very pleasant Steve Jobs to, to see, you know, outside of Apple, and and then dealing with like idiot questions. Like someone else, like, good God, some of those quite I mean, these are like politicians that run a city council. Right? I, I didn't know Steve Jobs could be that tactful. I'm sure he found those as stupid as you did. Oh, I know. And, 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 and knowing his personality, now I well, know. Well, let's see, he can't snap at him because he needs the okay to build the building. And, and, and currently, because he tells his own employees, 
you, what is it? What was it about Bumblebee? You should hate each other. I mean, he still say shit like that. So you yeah. know, from his point, yeah, but you, you, like, you can't snap at the at the yeah, council right. you're trying to get permits from and expect to get them. But I'm sure he wanted to. It's like <laughs> you gotta sit there and just kiss their ass, but just like, good God, who elected you? <laughs> Well, I mean, some of them ask valid questions. The one that asks questions about the cement... The valid questions as, like, about the plants, um... And, and about the traffic patterns, because they are taking they are taking from multiple buildings and moving everybody to this one corner, and all the traffic's going to be going... That's a valid question. Yeah, it's yeah the Apple Store, and the, the iPad thing, and what are you going to do? Uh, no, I, 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 usu I usually do not like Steve Jobs' humor, but I liked his answer on the taxes. Oh, I you, too. I yeah, it's like, well, you know, they asked were they going to be giving free <laughs> Wi-Fi, and he was like, well, can I not pay taxes? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I don't think that actually, I, I mean, what is the mental capacity here? Oh, yeah, could we get free Wi-Fi? I mean, I thought there was a deeper meaning there. Uh, at first, I still felt it was a silly question. What are you going to contribute? Well, you know, my first reaction is because I'm very cold. I was like, well, fine, honey, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just let it be a, a concrete uh, parking lot for you. Yeah, per per personally, you know, I don't agree with his oh. philosophy of, you know, he gives taxes, they provide services. I, I'm a big fan of laissez-faire government. I, I don't need the government to take care of me. I need the government to provide me security I, so I can take care of myself. That's <laughs> all I need from the government. <laughs> Because he, he said, well, we pay taxes, which is the, one of the biggest benefits. I'm sure they're the biggest tax uh, 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 payer for, for... He said that. Yeah. And, um, and then they should, but then they went... It, 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 it just segued to, well, free Wi-Fi? Uh, hello? What, what, what is that? I, just, I, I was just shaking my head watching that. I was like, unbelievable. But I was laughing at the same time because you got to know Steve Jobs is just like holding it in. Total self-control mechanism right there. Just like... Okay. I want to know what he said in private after the meeting. I'm I, sure he's. I paid some serious money to like whoever was waiting for him outside or whatever. You know, the next executive, and he would just go. No, I, 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 when he got out of there, he got in some car and he said something. You know. <laughs> have to do there. The impression that I got is that the council specifically asked for him to be there. They did that because oh, we know how hard it is to get you here. They could have easily. I'm a board. I'm a board member. My my community is 854 residents large. Very very large. We do all the same politi political running the board and all this other stuff. You don't you don't need to have the CEO come up and try to explain what a proposition thing is going to be. No, all you no. need is a proposal in writing. You review it. You send questionnaire back. At that was totally, oh, we'd like to talk to Steve Jobs. Which, most of those questions were, oh, I got to talk to Steve Jobs. I'm like, grow up. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad. sad. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm sorry, that's something I've never understood. I mean... You know, Linus Torvald and everybody, they could be in front of me, but they're just a damn human being. I have respect yeah. for them, but I don't it's have like fan that. idol worship, you know? It's like, uh, I'll have a beer with you. You want to go, uh, you know, that's fine, but it's not like, oh, look at you. Know, I, see that, <laughs> I, 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 I had no questions, I would, I would be silent. I'd have nothing to say. Right? You know, I'd just say no. Like, oh, do you have any questions? No. No. Looks great to me. You know, that's, that'd be all I'd say. You know, it's like, but I, I, I'm not going to sit there and bet in my head. It's like, well, is it going to be safe? <laughs> well, California law, it's building codes. Well, is there anything? I mean, oh. Uh, well, no. You see, we're gonna have our we're gonna have our 10.0 mega quake, and the flying saucer is gonna take off and fly across the ocean. And <laughs> it's gonna become the new Pacifica. <laughs> Of course, it's gonna be safe. It will leave if it's not. Uh, it is know, a... when you just... <laughs> no, it's not. I, sh I wish John Davis said no. It's not gonna be safe. <laughs> We're all gonna die miserably, horrible deaths. <laughs> it's like... That's so... That'd have been awesome. Like, you just look at the guy. No, it's not gonna be safe. I'm totally awesome. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that joke would have been well perceived. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, and on that, what the effingness? You know, I, I, you know what? That's ah. Uh, anyways, uh, for those of you who like Apple, I'm sure you like the mothership they're gonna go build. You can go, y'all, y'all can go out there with your tinfoil hats and worship the ET building. It's like, when do they say that they think this thing's gonna be done? Twenty fifteen. I mean, I, I, you know. I, it's not, today. it's not gonna go. I mean, I'm sure there's people are gonna Google it, but uh, I think it's a fantastic piece of architecture. And I, I like when a company. I, I, that is something that's nice. When it's when it's when you're there to make a pleasant. Atmosphere. You, you, you know who I think is ridiculously smart. Who? That apartment complex who refused to sell. I refused to sell. That was. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, those apartments are right. Th those apartments are adjacent to the Apple yeah. complex. Do you know what they can charge for rent for the said, Apple yeah, employees? <laughs> but yeah, so they can just walk to. Do you know what they can charge those Apple employees for rent? <laughs> that, that was smart. <laughs> those are the yep. smart. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll stop there. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. See y'all in PCV Mac.